12 tips and tricks for Circus Circus you should know. After playing Circus Circus for as long as I can remember since I've played Bat of Titans, I'm gonna be sharing with you some insights that can hopefully give you an edge with this mighty croc. Here we go. Number 1. Don't worry too much about subspecies. The difference between subspecies in terms of defense is literally just one circle bite. It takes about 16 circle bites to the body to kill a balanced circle. It takes about 18 to take down a defense circle. And it's 15 for a speed subspecies. The speed difference between subspecies is roughly 5%, meaning a defense sub will be about 5% slower than a balanced sub and 10% slower than a speed sub. So don't worry about which subspecies to choose. The difference in stats between them are minor. Number 2. Tick Scales is the way to go. Tick Scales increases your defense by 50%. It was not nerfed to 30% like most others. and has very little speed penalty, you'll barely notice it. In contrast, Thin Hide will decrease your defense by 50% while dramatically increasing your speed. With Thin Hide, the only thing you will have to worry about are full speed water build spinos. Great for traveling, but not much else. Bite Dragging Bite Dragging, as I like to call it, is when you bite and turn towards your target, dragging your bite and hitting them. You can easily drag Ripping Bite. You can kind of drag crushing bite. And you can't really drag the default bite. So remember to turn and flick your camera around in case you miss a bite. You might still land a hit. Number 4. Crushing Bite Tips Crushing Bite's damage depends on how much you wind it up. It only takes 5 seconds to fully wind up a Crushing Bite when the wind up noise stops. After which, you have 4 seconds to decide when to bite manually or else it closes on its own. Crushing Bite is currently the strongest raw damage attack in-game at 210 base damage. Compared to a Rex Bite at only 80. Ambushing Tips Always go for resting targets. You will do 2 times damage to sitting targets and 4 times damage to sleeping targets. High damage attacks such as the crushing bite become exceptionally powerful with this, allowing you to deal up to 840 raw damage to a sleeping Suko, instantly killing it in one bite. Speaking of which, Number 6. Crushing Bite can one-shot big dinos too. Here are some things a fully charged Crushing Bite Circle can one-shot, assuming balanced subspecies and default hinds. Crushing Bite can one-shot sleeping circles, sucos, iguanodons, aloes, and anything lighter than those. For comparison, a fully charged Crushing Bite will take out 60% of a sleeping rex or spinos HP.
Crushing Bite will also one-shot a Concavenator and anything lighter or smaller, regardless if they're standing, sitting, or sleeping. That's some potent stuff. Number 7. Don't underestimate Ripping Bite and Bleed. Sarko's Ripping Bite is the strongest bleed attack in-game. It only takes 5 Ripping Bites to bleed out another Sarko's entire HP bar. This means that they will have to get to land to rest ASAP if they want to survive. There's also a point of no return as I like to call it. Landing 11 Ripping Bites on another Sarko for example will guarantee their death. They will bleed out regardless if they sit or sleep. There is no escape. Every playable has a point of no return, so keep stacking those ripping bites and eventually, you will secure a kill. Number 8. Maximizing your lunge. Start a full sprint before lunging and continue to hold the sprint after. This will allow you to maximize the speed boost from the lunge and keep your momentum allowing you to go as far as 4 Sarko lengths inland from the shoreline in one lunge. This is also how I'm able to snipe players from afar. Number 9. Straving or moving backwards while diving will keep you hidden. With the new water movement mechanics, it is very easy to clip the water surface with your tail whenever you dive down, blowing your cover. To prevent this, strafe sideways or swim backwards while diving. This will keep your tail from breaking the surface of the water. Number 10. Sprint swimming backwards does not consume stamina. Sprinting backwards while swimming does not consume any stamina. That's basically it. Feel free to travel long distances using this to save up on stamina. Number 11. Holding precise movement will stop precise movement and keep you level in the water. You may notice and be annoyed that your Sarko dives down whenever you stalk your prey from the water. Just hit that precise movement to stop precise movement. I, I know, it's, it's the exact opposite of what it used to be. This will keep you level in the water as long as you hold the precise movement key, giving you a stable view of your prey as you stalk from the water. And finally, number 12, Bite Loadouts. The three Bite Loadouts are good in their own ways. The first one, the default Bite plus Ripping Bite. This is the Generalist build. It is good for land defense and good for ambushing low health targets. The second build is the Crushing Bite plus Ripping Bite. This is the General Ambush build. Good for hit and runs, ambushing anything from low health targets to apexes. It does high damage on the initial ambush due to the raw damage plus bleed combo. But this build struggles when it comes to land defense. Finally, the crushing bite plus default bite combo. This is the raw damage build. It is good for ending ambushes on resting targets and relies heavily on face tanking. Do keep in mind that using this build, there is a 2 second cooldown on the default bite after using a crushing bite. And those are my 12 tips and tricks for Sarko. If you want to see more, you can check out my Sarko hunting compilations below. If you think you've gotten something useful out of those, consider leaving a comment and subscribing. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>